Prayers in Whitechapel Mosque in East London were all the more reflective. The horrors of Christchurch may have happened on the other side of the world, but they feel close to home. The added security around mosques in the UK isn't just for show. There's no intelligence to suggest a copycat attack here, but British Muslims feel more threatened than ever by far-right extremism in this country. We may be more than 11,000 miles away from Christchurch in New Zealand, but we feel the ripples of hatred, we feel the ripples of fear, and we feel the ripples of sorrow for our brothers and sisters in Christchurch. Last year, religious hate crime rose by 40% in England and Wales. There were 94,000 religiously motivated offences. More than half of those targeted were Muslim. So why is it on the rise? One of the most shocking attacks by a member of the far right was in 2016, the murder of MP Jo Cox. Her husband says Islamophobic rhetoric has become too mainstream. I think Islamophobia has become the new acceptable form of racism. If you look again at the figures, there are more people who have very limited experience of Muslims but have high concern about it, and in some cases that concern is moving over into Islamophobia. In 2017, Darren Osborne drove a van into pedestrians outside Finsbury Park Mosque, killing one person and injuring nine others. Osborne and what he did here in Finsbury Park is listed as an inspiration by the attacker in New Zealand in his so-called manifesto. But the far right is also inspired by Islamic extremism. In many ways, they mirror each other. Both exploit grievances and encourage intolerance and generate distrust in anyone who doesn't subscribe to their point of view. Rallies such as this one in Sunderland, attended by UKIP leader Jared Batten, focus on issues such as rape and child exploitation by Asian men or grooming gangs. So the age of consent in Islamic culture uh, is a lot more elastic than it would be in Western culture. The Football Lads Alliance see this as legitimate protest, others as whipping up hatred against an entire religious group. Whatever the cause of increased hate crimes, it requires practical solutions. The man who wrote the UK strategy for religious spaces says mosques should consider more permanent security plans. If you go to a synagogue, they've taken security seriously. Uh, they have fences around. You, you can only get in through uh, layers of security, as you would expect most secure buildings. Uh, and, of course, mosques uh, don't do that. Uh, they're, but, they're, but it's very difficult because they are designed to be open door. In Hyde Park, New Zealanders held a vigil. Like any attack on cultural cohesion, it has brought communities closer together in compassion for the victims and support for those who feel threatened. Jason Farrell, Sky News.